Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on problem 6 on analysis of beams. Here I will be showing you a demo on simply summited beam with uniformly varying load and a pointed load using ANSYS mechanical APDL to obtain bending moment and shear force diagrams. As you know here this is session 2. In session 1 I have concentrated on theoretical part. How to get reaction solution? How to get uh, shear force diagram? How to get bending moment diagram? Everything I have done it theoretically. Okay. This is the problem what I have uh, discussed uh, in the last session, session 1. This is the load. This is for 3 meters, 40 kilo Newton meter and all that. And a pointed load and all that. How to get reaction solution? 60,000 and 80,000. You remember these things we have to prove theoretically now. Okay. 60,000 at this. 80,000 at this. This you have to remember. Then also this uh, shear force diagram. This is 80,000 uh, or 80 kilo Newtons here. And for this B and C it is 0. It is variation is uh, parabolic variation minus 60,000 or minus 60 kilo Newton. This you have to get shear force diagram. Okay. And bending moment diagram also. It is 120 kilo Newton meter. This is linear and it will be horizontal till this. And it is a cubical variation here. And it actually should become 0 here and 0 here. This is the bending moment diagram what you got theoretically. Now what you do now is. Now we will uh, do by ANSYS. Okay. Now ANSYS will go. Okay, in the for the convenience of the uh, viewers, I'll just do it again. See here, I've already uh, selected uh, the change the job name Gurudat UVL. I'll change the title also here. So I simply supported beam and all that. It is better you do. Okay, otherwise you can directly start from here. Preferences, structurally you go. Just say okay. Then preprocessor, element type, add edit delete, add you do beam two node one eighty eight. You just say. Okay, then close here. Then material properties you go. Material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic you go. And 210 E9 you take as Kings modulus 0 0.27 you take. Okay, 210 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square. That means the compulsorily you have to model it in meter and loading should be Newtons. Then only the answers will be proper. Okay, this okay you do. Then material exit you do. Then section you go B common section. Then you just see 0 0.2, 0 0.3 you take 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 as usual. What you know already 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. If there are a if the text section is different, you apply the same thing. If it is 0 0.5 and 1, you play put 0 0.5 and 1 in that way. Now it is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you apply the same thing. Just say okay. Okay. Now up to common sections, you are gone, come. Then we will we'll go for the modeling now. Modeling, create key points in active coordinate system. One you go, one you go, apply you do. Okay. Then two you go, it is three meters. Three meters. Is that uh, that is uh, next key point? Then three you go. It is four point five. Let's say apply. Then four you go. Let's say six. This is the thing. Okay. Now you create lines, straight line. Join one to two, two to three, and three to four. Okay. You just say okay. Okay, now you should know here you have uniformly varying load in this section and pointed load here. This is RA, this is RD. Okay, the reaction at A, reaction at D. These things have to be approved, whatever we have done it by theoretical methods. Then you go for meshing. Meshing, mesh attributes if you go, okay, pick it lines, pick on these things. And if you say, okay, it is only one material. No, you don't have to change anything. You have the default values. Okay. Pick orientation key point, don't touch that and all that. Because even without this, you can get bending moment, shear force diagram, reaction solution, everything without any problem. Okay. Just say okay. Okay. Now, once you do this, size controls you do, lines, pick it lines you do, pick all the three lines. Just say okay. And number of divisions, 5 you take. Just say okay. Then you see here, 5 here, 5 here, 5 here. In that way, mesh lines 
pick call if I do, I, I should get 15 elements, 5, 5, 5. In that way, I should get 15 elements. Okay, now you see a list elements. If you go, you, you get only 15 elements. Now up till here, it is correct. Now plot lines I do only for understanding purposes. Okay, now you see, I have to load now. Loading, you have to be careful here. Here you have to be applying uniformly varying load, pointed load here and all that. Okay, first loads, define loads, apply structural displacement on key points. Take this and take this. Okay, and say okay. And UX, UY, UZ, rotation X, rotation Y, you accept rotation Z, you make all other things zero. Okay, this has been done. Okay, then force moment on key points. You tick, click on this. Just say okay. F5 is minus 80,000. This is also okay. Okay, you have applied. Now you go pressure on beams you take. You see here. Now it is 40 kilo Newton per meter. Now I have taken into only five divisions. 40 by 5 means it is 8. That means here 0 to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 24, 24 to 32, 32 to 40. In that way you should go. If, if I have taken 10 divisions, your work would have been more. That means 40 by 10, it would have been 4. That means 0 to 4,000. 4,000 to 8,000, 8,000 to 12,000, 12,000 to 16,000, up to 40,000 you have done. It would have been more work for you. Now I have taken, just for convenience purposes, I have taken only into 5 equal parts. So that 40 by 5, it is 8,000. 0 to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 24, 24 to 32, 32 to 40 you will get. Okay. Okay. Now apply pressure on beams. Okay, you say. Apply pressure on beams. Just say OK. Then OK will do. Compulsorily you change it to 2 here. OK. 0 to 88,000 you do. 0 to 8,000. Just say apply. OK. Now, next click on the next one. OK you do. 8,000 to 16,000 you do. Just say apply. Next, you click on this. Okay, you do. 16,000 to 24,000, you do. 24,000, you do apply. Okay, next, you click on this. Just say okay. 24,000 to 32,000, you do. Just say apply. Okay, when the last one is there, then just say okay, 32,000 to 40,000 you do. 40,000 you do. This you have to be careful. Okay, now you see here, this has been done clearly. Now what do you do? You say okay, plot controls, sorry, plot, multi plot you do. You see here beautifully you have uniformly varying load and a pointed load also is coming. Okay, in that way what you've done till now is proper. Now once you uh, uh, once you applied the thing and all that, now you go for solution, solve, current LS, you just say okay. Takes time. The solution is done message should come. Okay, solution is done, message has come. It, it, now we are in the right track. As you know here, please observe, this is a uniformly varying load. I carefully applied 0 to 8,000, 8,000 to 16,000, 16,000 to 24, 24 to 32, 32 to 40. In that way, that's approximation I've done and I've applied the UVL. And this is minus 80,000 also. Okay, solution is done. Now, now what exactly we have got is, we have finished the pre-processing stage. We have done the solution phase also. Now we are go going for post-processing phase. Now general post-process you go. Okay. Once you go for general post-processing, okay, carefully you see. First thing what you have to do is whether reaction solution is correct or not, you verify. List results, reaction solution, all items you see. 
just say okay see here 60000 and 80000 okay at node 1 you see here plot controls numbering node numbers you make it on you will see here 1 to 12 okay node number 1 is 60000 what you have got theoretically node number 12 is this there 80000 or 80 kilonewtons this is perfectly matching with the theoretical result that means we are perfect till now okay now what you do is you go for we are bending air force diagram well as you know already define table table by sequence number by sequence number you do smic 16 you apply okay by sequence number you go okay smic 6 you go and smic 19 you go okay now you see here is 16 and 6 and 19 this is item and sequence number smic 3 and smic 16 item and sequence numbers will help us in getting bending moment diagram this item and sequence number smic 6 and smic 19 will help us in getting shear force diagrams okay then you just say close then what you do is you go for plot results plot result contour plot line element results first we'll do this 6 and 19 shear force diagram 6 and 19 sorry shear force diagram 6 and 19 will give us shear force diagram just say okay okay as you see here as you see this is 80000 properly done this is a parabolic variation okay at the and here from here to here it is zero this is uniformly varying load okay at the uniformly varying load this is a parabolic variation zero to 60000 you should have got since we have taken only five equal parts we are getting minus 59200 actually it should have been minus 60000 and this is 80000 this is okay this is matching with theoretically theoretical results property but this parabolic variation here it should have been 60000 but you you will get 60000 provided you divide, divide this into more number of equal parts say if you are divided into 100 equal parts your work would have been more but the answer would have been more proper okay now we will go for bending moment diagram 3 and 16 you go just say okay this is the bending moment diagram okay this is the bending moment diagram this is zero at this point you know it is 120 kilo newtons this is 120000 newton meter okay at this point you see it 1 2 3 4 5 5 here it is linearly varying and 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 here it is constant 120000 that is 120000 newton meter or 120 kilo newton here it is a cubical variation that is for the bending moment of uniformly varying load now this is cubical variation it is this it is exactly matching with the theoretical results but only thing what we have found out is at the end no this some uh, some left out is there some 12000 has given and as i said it is only because we have divided this into only five five equal parts as a result you have a left over here if the left over has to be zero you have to divide this into at least 100 equal parts so that it becomes as less as possible but otherwise it is proper in all respect as you see here you have got a uh, linear variation here 1 2 3 4 5 linear variation here okay from here 1 2 3 4 5 5 it is exactly 120 kilo newtons okay 120 kilo newton meter that is here then cubical variation here for the bending moment diagram it is all you have got it but the left out is because we have divided into only five equal parts you try for more number of equal parts okay in this way we are able to complete the problem on that is uniformly varying load okay this is the end of session 2 thank you very much for viewing thank you friends thank you